I am an adult doll collector and I'm making this video for other adult doll collectors or anybody who is considering buying these dolls as a gift for somebody else. Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing another unboxing and review for you. Um, I was feeling a little, a little nostalgic this weekend and I asked you on Instagram what you would rather see, whether you wanted to see a vintage Barbie or if you wanted to see like vintage G1 My Little Pony uh, recreations. And um, the poll was kind of close, but um, Barbie did win out. So I'm actually going to be unboxing and reviewing this vintage Bubble Angel Barbie. Um, this is actually a doll that I never owned as a kid, but one of my friends, and this was like back in maybe like fourth grade or something like that. One of my friends got this for her birthday and I was at her birthday party and um, she let me play with it and stuff like that. But um, I was so like, envious. <laughs> I really wanted to have this doll for myself. So um, I found her on eBay um, a few months ago and she's actually kind of, I think she's been in the background of a couple of my videos, but she's been here with all of the things that I still need to unbox. So um, anyway, I'm so happy to actually have her now in my collection. Um, I'm kind of glad that I got her now and I was able to get her in box rather than like get her back when I was a kid. Cause if I got her when I was a kid, I would have played with her and she would have not been in that great condition by now. Yeah, so I'm just really, really excited uh, to unbox her and take a look uh, and see if I remember her the way I think I remember her or, you know, things like that. Uh, by the way, um, I'm recording this in the afternoon. Uh, my blinds are closed, but that's just because of the way my neighbor's house is adjacent to me. We're not like right next to each other. They're like forward and we kind of share a our front yard so there's a bunch of like kids playing outside if you hear like voices and things happening just ignore that <laughs> so yeah this is so exciting to have this um i also thought that this was perfect because we are kind of moving into the holiday season and you know she is an angel um it'd be kind of cool if i could find some way to uh, turn her into like a tree topper somehow. Um, but she's kind of heavy. I don't know if uh, if she would fit on my tree because I have a pretty small Christmas tree. But um, I don't know, just a thought. Here she is in the box. She is so pretty. Of course she has the, is it the, is it Superstar face mold? I think that's the face mold that she has. Uh, and then of course in the back you can see her wings, which we'll see when I get her out of the box. Um, she has just this really cute, very like over the top, like iridescent sparkly costume, which I love. And she did come with some bubbles because her whole gimmick is her wings, like you can blow bubbles with them. Oh, here you can see, like here's like a picture of her all done up flying through the air, you know, spreading bubbles and stuff like that. Um, on the back of the box, you have a picture of a kid playing with her and it says Bubble Angel Barbie. And then it's got like a little story here. Um, the story, what does it say? It says, once upon a magical night, Barbie dreamed she was an angel. Every time she took flight, beautiful bubbles flowed from her magical wings. Every sparkling bubble was filled with wishes and love. So obviously the target demographic for this was much younger than I am because I'm like reading that and I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> so um, over here you can see like it just kind of gives you some instructions of like pouring the bubble solution into the little tray and you dip her wings in it and then like make her fly through the air and then you know she blows bubbles but um, it also comes I guess with a little stand or a stick that you can put the wings on and um, just use it as kind of like a bubble wand if you don't want to get your uh, Barbie like messed up and wet. But yeah anyway let's go ahead and get her out of the box so that way we can take a closer look at everything. I always get really excited opening these more like classic Barbies just because waves of nostalgia. It's, oh, there's a piece of paper. She comes with a little instructional packet or a pamphlet, or it's a single piece of paper that's folded in half, but, oh, okay, so the wings actually attach directly to her back. So it kind of shows you here, um, or to the stick, it looks like. But yeah, these are just basically the instructions. So, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, 
back to the simpler days where we just had little twist ties instead of all the plastic that we had to cut out. <laughs> this is so much easier. I wish that they would still do the, you know what? Actually, I think the Disney dolls, the Disney store dolls do this still. They are held in by twist ties and it is so much easier. You don't have to like sit here and snip them all out. Sometimes like I don't have a pair of scissors handy. So um, it's just easier to do it this way. In my opinion, anyway. I don't know, what do you think? All right, she's free! <laughs> so really quick, I just wanna kinda look at the accessories here. Um, she does come with a brush, you know, I love these classic like 80s, 90s Barbie brush with like the little, I don't even know what this design is, this like swoop thing. <laughs> and then here is the little tray where you put the bubble solution and I don't know if you can see it, but there are some shoes in there, which I'm going to get out here in a second. Here are her wings. I guess they go like this. Here are her wings here. They are smooth on one side, the side that like goes against her back, but then on the back side, it does have like a texture here and there are like little starbursts. I don't know why, why do they do that? You know what? That's like normal bubble ones. Um, they kind of have this like little all these little lines here. I wonder if it's just to help the bubbles separate from the wand without popping or something. And then you get this little stick thing here. You can attach the wings to it. Here is the bubble wand. So if you want to play with the bubbles and just do this and not get your doll all soapy, then that's how you could do that. It, it kind of almost looks like it should be like a, a masquerade mask. <laughs> Although the stick would have to be on the side. Here's a little bubble tray. It's just a simple tray. And the, the thing is like, it's only big enough for one wing to fit in at a time, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Here are the shoes. They're just these simple little, oops, I'm dropping them. But anyway, they're just these simple little uh, ballet flats. She also comes with a bubble solution and there is some still in here surprisingly. I mean, I, it didn't spill out or anything like that, but it might, it looks like it might have started evaporating or something. Le oh, I wonder if it did spill out. That's weird. Anyway, uh, it might have leaked a little bit over the years. I mean, this doll is, how old is this doll? 1994. So 26 years ago, this is a 26 year old Barbie. Here we go. Here is a close up. So here is her face. I think this is gorgeous. This is like quintessential Barbie for me. When I think of Barbie, this is the face that I think of, mainly because it was, you know, the Barbie of my childhood. But um, I just, I love the simple blue eye makeup and like the bubblegum pink lipstick. You know, it's, you can't go wrong with that. I think it's just a very simple look. Her hair is done up. She has this fringe here, these, you know, classic bangs that were very, very popular in the 90s. Her hair is pulled back into this ponytail. Um, the rubber bands, every piece of rubber on this doll has disintegrated. So um, I'm gonna have to see about like redoing the hairstyle with some new elastics. But um, her hair is a decent quality, but it is very dry, probably because it's crimped and it feels like there is, might be some hairspray in it. So I think that there's a little bit of product. Um, so I'll probably wash that out uh, just to try and make her hair, hair feel nice and soft again. She comes with this little necklace here. It's just like a, a really simple little uh, silver metallic necklace. And all of that, like I was saying, everything that's rubber has disintegrated. So like the little straps that are supposed to go around her neck and everything, it's like disintegrated and melted to the plastic. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to clean her up and um, try and wash that off because that's actually kind of gross. <laughs> I love her outfit. I love how over the top and just how cute this is. Back in the 90s, this is very much like a fantasy thing. Oh, the glitter's coming off. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about glitter. <laughs> I like it, it's pretty, but the minute it starts coming off of the outfit, then I'm like, why? Um, I like that the material that this is made out of and the little skirt right here is like this really pretty iridescent kind of look to it. I love those colors. It, the outfit is kind of permanently crunched here in the middle just because of how long she's been in the box, but that's okay. And of course, just like the classic Barbies, they she has uh, eight points of articulation. So she has like movement at the head, at the shoulders, her um, legs can go forward and backwards. She does have the bend and snap knees. And then of course she has the, the turning at the waist uh, articulation that 
all the Barbies had back then. I don't know about you, but I would love Mattel to go back to this. You don't have to have like all the articulation, like it doesn't have to be made to move, but just like have the arms be in this pose and like give her the bend and snap knees with a joint at the waist so she can turn. I don't know if I'm maybe the only person that feels that way. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you prefer this old body or like the newer modern day fashionistas? I like the rubber legs. Mattel said that the reason that they got rid of them, or I don't know, this is a rumor I heard from somebody else, but, um, you know, they said that the reason they got rid of the bend and snap rubber legs was because kids had trouble getting the clothes up over the legs. So like putting pants on Barbie was a nightmare. I don't know about that because I never really had a problem with it. Um, I, I'm feeling like they just did it to cut costs because the newer Barbies just have like hollow plastic legs and they don't bend at all. And I feel like that would probably cost less. So anyway, here you can see on the back where her wings fit in. So you can just take these and then just kind of plug it in her back here. Oh, how f is that it? Okay, I think that's it. Oh, oh, her outfit's sticky. Oh, I don't like that. Ugh. Probably gonna have to clean the outfit too somehow. There we go. So now you can see what she looks like when she's in full on angel mode. Oh, these shoes are not gonna stay on. <laughs> I can tell you right now. You know, it would probably work better if she didn't have her leggings. And these leggings aren't even like fitted to her. It it looks so weird. Look at that. <laughs> Why do they look like that? I mean, they're really cute shoes. I think they'd stay on better if she didn't have her like footed tights, but um, but that's okay. I love this. I think that this is just a really good idea. Like, I love the fact that it's an angel Barbie. Um, I think nowadays she'd probably be rebranded as a fairy as opposed to an angel, but like, I mean, semantics at that point. But I love, I mean, yes, it's a gimmick, but I love the gimmick with the the bubbles coming out of the wings. I think that that was definitely a fun thing. I mean, speaking from experience, like I said, I got to play with this doll when I was a kid. My friend, she got it and she loved it. And so it was definitely something that was worth playing with, you know? Um, so I think that to see something like this, it just makes me miss Barbie from the 90s. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of really awesome Barbies out right now, and a lot of, some of them that are very gimmicky, that I still think are really fun, like the color reveal Barbie. I have been wanting to get my hands on a, on some of those color reveal Barbies for a while. I've been watching um, My World, Melissa Hunter, <laughs> and she keeps getting them and doing them on her channel, and it just, it makes me want to go out and buy them. <laughs> so um, I finally got around to doing those mermaid ones. Did I ever put that video up? I have to check. I actually got some of the mermaid uh, color reveal Barbies, and I did record the video, but I don't think I edited yet. So maybe I'll have to get that video <laughs> up. I'll probably put that up after this. I don't know. Let me know down below. What do you think of like the, the kind of gimmicky things for Barbie? Um, you know, do you think that they had better ideas back when they were, you know, in the 80s and 90s? Or do you like some of the newer stuff that came out? Um, I think they should remake this doll. Like, I think they should take some of the gimmicks from back in the day and re-release them, just rebrand it. Like, you know, kind of like make it a little bit more modern, maybe add some of the new fashionistas' body types and skin tones and stuff like that and add in something like this, you know, because I could totally see like Fairytopia or Dreamtopia or whatever, um, you know, having something like this. I'm probably not going to do the the bubble thing to show you what it looks like. I mean, it's it's literally you're just blowing bubbles <laughs> with this. Um, I just don't want to get her all soapy or anything like that. I mean, I guess I, I could use the little wand or whatever you want to call it here, but um, it's cold outside right now. <laughs> So, and I don't really have a place that I can do it inside without making a mess. So, um, what I might do, I'll just see if I can find the commercial and then I'll just put a clip, like, let's just put a clip right here. So right now, ooh, ah, this is what it looks like. This is, you know, how it looks when the, the Barbie is flying through the air with the bubbles. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I definitely appreciate all of your comments. It, it's been really crazy ever since hitting a thousand subscribers. I've just been getting a lot of engagement and I can't thank you guys enough. If you want to see my 1000 subscriber video, which I did a Q&A while I unboxed a whole bunch of stuff, it's a, a pretty long video, but if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and put something up in the iCards as well as a link in the description. But I'm going to get going. I need to clean up my desk from all the little particles and glitter and stuff that, <laughs> that fell off this doll. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>